By the start of 2003, Philippine Basketball Association Commissioner Noli Ayala expressed that the league was ready for growth. He cited the rapidly increasing number of players and the future plans for the professional league under his guidance as key factors supporting this expansion. Ayala, acknowledging the growing number of players who've been cut from teams this season and keeping the league's future in mind, Stated that the league's board should seriously think about increasing the number of players on each team from 10 to approximately 12. Ayala revealed that he would have advocated for expansion in the 2003 season itself if there had been sufficient time to implement such a change. Given the short window between his takeover from former Commissioner June Bernardino and the scheduled start of the season on February 23, he expressed this sentiment in an interview, stating, I would have pushed it, but there was no time to address it because I came in late. Additionally, the league is recovering from a challenging season, so there's also the matter of timing to consider among team owners. Despite these challenges, Iyala concluded by emphasizing his personal conviction that it's a matter the league should seriously contemplate. The league has traditionally been hesitant about expansion, not due to complete opposition from team owners. But primarily because of the need to maintain a careful balance between the number of teams and their exposure. After admitting Pepsi and RFM Swift in 1990, the league maintained an eight team roster, which it deemed optimal for the following decade. It wasn't until 1999 that Tan Du Y is added as an expansion team, followed by Red Bull the next year. Expansion in the near future, whether large or small, Would lead to the largest number of teams in the league's 28 year history. Iyala believes this is necessary due to recent events. Firstly, the closure of the Metropolitan Basketball Association and the influx of new talent from colleges and Filipino foreign players have created a surplus of skilled players. Iyala believes this is enough to support one or two additional teams. Secondly, the shift from three conferences to two longer tournaments in a season. Would provide better exposure for an expanded league. Iyala stated that any expansion at this stage depends on two crucial factors a format that ensures minimal impact on existing teams, and the availability of sufficient talent to prevent any post expansion imbalance in the league. Considering these factors and the current circumstances, Iyala believes the ideal number of teams for the league is 12. He supported this by stating that there are approximately 60 additional players available, and if half of them are qualified to play in the league, then the ideal number for expansion is two teams. Iyala believes the board will be receptive to the expansion idea, provided it's well justified and doesn't significantly affect the existing team's exposure or other factors. He sees expansion as a positive indicator of the league's health, development, and growth. Iyala disagreed with the notion that the influx of Phil foreign players is solely responsible for the high rate of veteran players being sidelined or retiring. He emphasized that the situation is caused by multiple factors, including the rapid turnover of new talent and the financial constraints faced by teams. He pointed out that only a small number of Phil foreign players actually made it onto teams, highlighting that their presence isn't directly causing veterans to lose their positions.